Hey, welcome back to Dave's Post-Apocalyptic World, part 13 today. I want to give you an update of where we are on the dinosaur. So it's been a long couple of few weeks because we started doing the ribs of the dinosaur. There's 13 of them and these guys are taking forever. They are a bear because they're so large and flimsy and they need one tiny coat at a time and a couple of days to dry before continuing because they're so... You can't even lift them up because they're, they're long and flimsy. And so I want to show you some updates here. We've got the T-Rex skeleton head all nice and painted. I like the color. I think we chose a good one in a previous video. Then we have a little visitor, always trying to take the spotlight, this one. I can't get any work done. She's got a good vantage point up there. She's the supervisor. And onward. So let's see where we are here. So we've used a lot of different techniques to cover the bones. And in this case, we're kind of painting it on and using some gauze. And I'm gonna show you in a few minutes downstairs how we're using a new dipping method. You've also seen us using a spray painting, a spray coating method with a um, knockdown sprayer, it's called. And today we're gonna to use a dip method where we're actually going to fill up a tub with the joint compound and dip and and remove the covering and we'll see how that goes so onward we're also we've also started to print again because as we got caught up with the ribs now it was time to start thinking about the neck bones and the arms and the scapula part of the arms. So here we are in the printing room where you can see the, these are some of the claws, claw parts. And we've got eight Ender 3 Pro 3D printers printing here. And we still have a couple printing over here. This is the scapula part printing and I think we also have another cat here but the printing is just about done after the the tiny arms are printed out we're pretty much done it's all about covering 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 right before we had the ABP always be printing now it's ABC always be printing and it doesn't stop and so now I've also opened up one more workshop because, because I ran out of room for the ribs. So here we'll go down the stairs. You can take a peek of my Rembrandt collection. They're not real. I know there's rumors about certain paintings that went missing in Buffalo a couple of years ago. So that's not them. So upstairs we had four of the rib parts and there's 13 in total. Let's see if we can find the rest of them in this room. As you can see, you need a big room in order to, to build these. And ultimately this is what they look like. And you can actually pick it up, but that's after maybe eight separate coats. So about two weeks worth of covering. So there's two of them here. 
These got a fresh coat on them today, still wet. And then a couple here on the couch. So a lot of room we need, but I think they're gonna turn out really good. So we've made a lot of progress. We're probably about a month, month and a half away from being all done. But like I said, I did have to open up one more workshop in this one here. And here I'm gonna show you how we covered the neck bones and also the, what are called chevrons or chevrons are the bones underneath the tail to, to bulk it up and make it look more like a tail. Here is that video now. So we're getting good at this. These chevrons, there's 33 of them. It only took about a day and a half to print all of them because remember we've got eight Ender 3 Pro 3D printers printing at the same time. So eight divided by, that's four runs and each one was only about two to three hours each. So in a day you could print a lot. And then these neck bones only took about a couple few days because again, there's eight of them. Each one is about four parts put together like in this video of connecting them with the 3D printer pen and then doing the dip covering. And that's about it for the update. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Please tell all your friends. And many of you have left feedback and I appreciate that. I try to get to all of your questions. And if you have any more comments or questions, please let me know. Would you like to see more of certain things, less of other things, more often, less often? Maybe suggestions on our next project. I'm thinking about maybe doing a triceratops after this. Now that we know that we can build a nice big structure with 3D printing. And so we will see you next time on Days Post-Apocalyptic World. <laughs>